spots in Gross Point Shores is taking the wraps off some extensive restorations. And as Kim DiGiulio reports, it's become a real labor of love. It's one of the most extensive projects done here at the Ford House. Piece by piece, contractors would refer to photos like this one to make sure that they got this area perfect the way it was when the Fords lived here back in the 1930s. It's a project that started in 2019, restoring the pool and lagoon at the Ford House. It was really the heartbeat of the estate. Most of the film and photographs that we have are of them using the pool. So we understand that it was really important to the family. But project manager Carl Cotto tells me that this was not an easy task because of decades of neglect. The pool was in pretty rough shape when we started in on it. The piping behind the pool walls had totally disintegrated. The team wanted to get it just right the way Etzel and Eleanor Ford designed it. The pool and the area surrounding the pool was really a collaboration, again, with Etzel, Eleanor, Albert Kahn, and Jens Jensen. And there's great correspondence between them talking about the pool and how they wanted it to appear. With a little luck and a lot of hard work, they were able to bring it back to what it looked like in its glory days, even using the same materials used in 1928 when it was built. Well, amazingly, the pool deck is a sandstone that comes from a quarry down in southern Ohio. And that quarry is actually still in operation today. Even the diving board is from the 1930s. However, don't think about jumping in just yet. Even though it's been restored for potential use, for now, this pool is meant to be a museum piece. Its purpose is to tell a story of a family and an era that's long gone. So if it never gets used, I'm just as happy uh, because I think the end result speaks for itself. In Gross Point Shores, I'm Kim DiGiulio, Local 4.